Hello viewers, my name is uh, Mr. Rivanjo and uh, I want to welcome you to today's teaching. You are highly welcomed and uh, as you are about to learn new ideas today, I really want you to sit right and uh, focus on the teaching. Now in the couple of videos we had in the past, we have been talking about uh, plane geometry and we have been solving a lot some topics on plane geometry and uh, we are still on plane geometry and we are going to be talking about another topic on that plane geometry and uh, that is polygon we're going to talk about polygon how we can identify polygon the different types of polygon that we have then how we can find angles in polygon both the exterior angle and the interior angle of polygon and how we can solve possible related question on a polygon that all those uh, objectives we are going to be talking discussing and we are going to be try to achieve in this uh, teaching as you can see presently on the screen right now we are having polygon as a topic and uh, there are key points we have on this slide right now saying that uh, a polygon is a closed figure completely bounded by hand straight lines where n is greater than or equal to 3. A polygon is a closed, closed, closed figure completely bounded by n straight lines where n is greater than or equal to 3. That is, we have some straight line joined together, but those straight lines, they are not less than 3. They're either equal to 3 or greater than 3. That we're having in there. So that means a polygon is formed when two, three or more straight lines join together. When three or more straight lines join together, that means a polygon is formed. So, and also a polygon of n side has n angles. That means the number of line aside that polygon has, we determine the number of angles it's going to have, have as well. That is, if a polygon has three sides, that means it's going to have three angles. If a polygon has four sides, it's going to have four angles. If a polygon has five sides, that means it's going to have five angles as well. So that means the number of lines that polygon has determine the angle it possesses as well. So you can see that right now, this diagram we are having here, this is an example of a polygon. You can see that this is a straight line from here to here, it's a straight line, another straight line, another straight line, another straight line, another straight line. You can see that all these straight lines are joined together or bounded together. These straight lines are joined together and that is what forms the polygon. So if you have more than three straight lines and the straight lines are not joined together, that means they are not yet, is not, a polygon is not yet to be formed. But once those, those straight lines are joined together and the straight lines are equal to three or more than three, that means polygon is actually formed. So a polygon is a, is formed when three, two or uh, three or more straight lines join together, and uh, then uh, that is polygon. An example of polygon is a triangle. A triangle is an example of a polygon. We don't want to know the type of triangle that it is, but any triangle you can think of is an example of polygon. You can see that this is a straight line one, two, then three. So, and the definition of um, polygon said that uh, the line must be greater or equal to three. So, and here you are having uh, three straight lines here, but you can see that those straight lines are joined together. So that means this is a polygon. An example of polygon is a triangle. And uh, since it has three sides, that means it's going to have three angles as well. An angle is here, another angle here, another angle is here. So we have three angles formed in a, in a triangle, being one of the type of polygon. So a triangle is a polygon with three sides and three or three angles. Another example of a polygon is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is any any shape, any plane shape with four sides. That's a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. That is any shape you can think of that has four sides categorized under category, um, quadrilateral. An example is a rectangle. Another an example is a square, parallelogram, rhombus, trapezium. All these they have uh, they have uh, four sides, so that means they are quadrilateral. So quadrilateral is also a polygon. Reason being that uh, you have uh, 
straight line here joined together the straight line are joined together you can see they are, the first straight line are joined together and then once they are joined together four angles are formed as you can see so now a collateral is also an example of a uh, polygon polygon with four sides and four angles then this is the list of polygons that we have the basic polygon that we have though we have more than this but these are the basic ones we have now name of the polygon the number of sides that the polygon has so if a, a triangle is a polygon so it has three sides quadrilateral has is a polygon it has four sides pentagon is a polygon it has five sides hexagon is a polygon it has six sides heptagon is a polygon seven sides octagon polygon eight sides Nonagon is a polygon with nine sides, and tetragon is a polygon with ten sides. So, these are examples of polygons that we have. Please, it is advisable for students to know all these polygons and uh, being able to identify them and then know the number of sides they possess one after the other. For example, now you are given that a polygon, a regular polygon, which is pentagon, you know that should come to your mind that pentagon has five sides. A regular polygon which is non argon you know that should come to your mind, your mind that a non argon has nine sides so you are meant to know the name of the polygon and know the number of sides uh each of the polygon has that is very important in solving polygon now if that should be the case now next we're going to move to the angle that we ha have in a polygon the angles that we have in polygons we have interior angles and we have exterior angles. We have interior angles and what? Exterior angles. Now, interior angle from the word interior, that's talking about inside. Interior is talking about inside. So, all, any triangle, any polygon you can think of, whether a triangle, whether a uh, quadrilateral, pentagon, so all the angles we have in here inside the polygon are called interior angles they are called interior angles as you can see here this is an angle here another angle here another angle here another angle here another angle here. so these angles inside that polygon no matter how the polygon no matter the type of the polygon we have if it is even decagon with uh, 10 sides that means going to have 10 angles so all the angles inside are called interior angles so also exterior angles as well in a polygon you can see that uh, the exterior is talking about outside of a shape outside of a shape so you can see that uh, this angle that is formed here is outside the polygon this one outside this outside this outside this outside but in here inside this one here this is interior inside here is interior inside here is also interior inside is interior interior but those angles that uh, we colored here are exterior angle because they are outside uh the the polygon so don't forget that uh, the number of sides of a polygon determine the number of angle that polygon has so if i have a rectangle a triangle now having three sides so that means i'm going to have two uh, three interior angles form in that triangle that polygon and the uh, three exterior angle form in that polygon if i have a quadrilateral with four sides that means i will have four interior angles and the four exterior angle for that quadrilateral. If I have a pentagon with five sides, that means I will have five interior angle for in that pentagon and five exterior angle in that word, that pentagon as well. So the number of sides determine the number of angle a polygon has. So now that is uh, all about this uh, lesson. And uh, in the next, uh, what's it called? Next video, we are going to talk about the theorems that we have in polygon and then we are going to use them to solve problem so don't forget that polygon is a is a is a shape with a number of straight line bounded together but the number the number of such straight line are, are, are must be equal to three or greater than three so then the number of side determine the number of angles a polygon has and you have to know the, the name of uh, the polygon that we have ranging from triangle then upward and you have to know the number of sides they have so that uh, when you want to solve problems once they measure a particular polygon you, sure, you already know the number of sides 
that uh, that polygon has and we should know that uh, in, in polygon we have interior angles and we also have exterior angle and we should be able to differentiate between this so if you understand what you have done here now please try to like the video comment on it if you have not subscribed to our youtube channels please do that and uh, share the videos with your uh, your friends your colleagues and uh, i will see you in the next video thank you and god bless you hello viewers i'm still mr Debanjo. And uh, I want to strongly welcome you to today's teaching on Polygon. In our last video, we talked about uh, Polygon, the definition of Polygon, how we could identify Polygon, the different types of Polygon that we have with their size. And we also talked about uh, the interior angles and exterior angle of, poly of, a, of Polygon, how we can identify the interior angles and the uh, a stereo angle of polygon and what constitutes the what make up the what's it called the angles of the polygon so if you have not watched the video please go back and watch that video before you watch the video so that you can understand how what you are going to do in this video in this video i'm going to talk about some theorems that we have and uh in, on, in polygon like we have two theorems in polygon which every student must know and uh, how to use the theorems accurately to solve problems now if you if you look at the last video i told you that uh, we have interior angles in a polygon and it is the number of the size that the polygon has that will determine the number of angle it's going to have so now i told you how you can identify interior angle interior angle is talking about the angle inside that polygon now so whether it is uh, for triangle we have three angles in that tri inside triangle for Collateral, we have four angles in that collateral, and uh, and so on. Now, the first theorem is talking about the sum of these, sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon. Sum of the interior angles. That is, you are adding all those angles together. When you add it together, what is it going to give us? That's what we are talking about here now. When you add those interior angles together, for an example now, for a triangle now, when I had all the three angles in the triangle together what is it going to give me that's what this theorem is talking about how we can find it are you there with me now how we can find the sum of interior angles of any polygon it's possible once you know the number of side that polygon has you can find the sum of the interior of, of a polygon by using this formula we're having on the on the screen right now the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is you, you can calculate by using this formula 2 n minus 4 multiplied by what 90 degrees where your hand is talking about the number of sides as that polygon the number of sides as that polygon so if, if you are talking about a triangle now that your hand is going to be three then you have two times three that is six minus four that will give us two two times 90 that gives us 180 degrees you can see that any of course some of some of angle in a triangle is 180 degrees but this formula can help us to sum all the angles some of the interior angles in a, any polygons together so my 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 advice is that you memorize you know this that uh, when time i want to sum the angles the interior angles of the polygons together i need two n minus four multiplied by what, 90. so that will give me the sum of any polygon or some of any uh, some of the interior angle of any polygon and where your hand is the number of sides has the polygon then if this formula is for finding the sum of the interior angles of that polygon, then how can we find one angle of that polygon? Or how can we find each angle in that polygon? I will come again. If this is the formula of summing all the interior angles together, then how can we now find each angle in that polygon? In the, uh, each interior angle in that polygon or of that polygon. For an instance, now, if I say that I, I purchase uh, five uh shirt for 20 naira then it's possible for me to calculate the amount of one shirt by dividing the amount i bought the five shirt divided by the number of shirt i bought so that will give me um, the number of the amount divided by the number of shirt i, I bought that'll give me the cost of one shirt the same thing here if i know that this is some it is the formula for finding the sum of all the interior angles together in a regular polygon that means to get one angle or to get each angle in that regular in that polygon what do i do I will divide everything I get here by the number of sides that polygon has. And now we are having that each interior angle of a regular polygon is 
given by this formula, 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90 degrees divided by number of sides, which is n. So that will give us each, each value of interior angle of any polygon. For an instance now, if you say your polygon is a triangle, that means three sides, that we have 6 minus 4, that give us 2 times 9, uh, 90, that give us 180. Then 180 now divided by 3, that will give me one angle, each, each interior angle of that polygon which is 1 8 divided by 3, that gives us uh, 60. So that means each angle in that regular polygon is 60 degrees each. So don't forget these two formula. If you are summing the angles together, all the interior angles together, you need 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90. And if you are looking for each interior angle now, you need this formula. Also, you, can, you have used that, uh, those, these two formula we have here for sum, this formula you have here for sum of interior angle, we have used it to calculate sum of the polygon we have here. You can see we have the name of the polygon, the number of sides the polygon has, then the sum of interior angles, and uh, the value of the sum of the interior angles here. For triangle, we have 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90 is equals to, your n is what? 3. So then we have 2 times 3 minus 4, and that, will give, that should give us 6 then times uh, 90, that gives us 180 degrees. That means the sum of interior angle in a triangle is what? 180 degrees. Then for quadrilateral, put your four years as your hand. That means you have two times four minus four. That will give us two times four is eight minus four. That will give us four. Four times 90, that will give us 360 degrees. So sum of interior angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Uh, for square, sum of angle in a square is 360. For rectangle, the same thing, 360. For parallelogram, 360. Any quadrilateral you can think of, some of interior angles of, that collateral, of the collateral is what, 360 degrees. For pentagon as well, which has how many sides? Five sides. You put your five here, then you have two times five minus four, and that will give us two times five is 10 minus four, that will give us six. Six times 90, that will give us 540 degrees. So that means some of the interior angle in the pentagon is 540. Then you can do that for hexagon with number uh, of sides to be 6. Then that means you have 2 times 6 minus 4. That will give us 12 minus 4. That will give us uh, 8. 8 times 90, that will give us 720 degrees. Then do it for heptagon, the same process. Do for octagon, the same process. Then do for nonagon, the same process. Decagon, the same process. And any other type of uh, polygon that you have. This is how you can find the sum of the interior angles. The sum of the interior angles of that what? Uh, uh, polygon you can think of. So if you want to know the each value, the each angles of the interior angle of those polygon, you can just for this one I can divide by number of sides which is three that give us uh, sixty degrees. For this one I can divide by uh, uh, four which is number of sides here yeah, that will be out thirty six divided by four that give us ninety degrees or each, each angle each, each interior angle of a quadrilateral. You can do it for the rest as well. You know the the value of each. each interior angle of that polygon you are talking about so then that's for some of the interior angle of a polygon let's talk about some of exterior angles of a polygon now don't forget that exterior angle is talking about uh, the angle outside the polygon now and don't forget that uh, it is see the side the number of side that polygon as would, that would define the number of exterior angle the polygon will have but the sum of if you can see in the in the Sum of interior, the sum of interior angle of polygons differs. 180, 360, 540, 720 differs. They don't have the same uh, sum of interior angles. But when it comes to sum of interior angle, sum of the exterior angle rather, sum of the exterior angle of a regular polygon, there is one value to it, which is what 360 degrees. So no matter how, no matter the polygon. The sum of all the exterior angle of that polygon is what well, is 360 degrees. Don't forget, it's very important. Whether it's the decagonal, whether it's nonagon, octagon, tri triangle, the sum of the exterior angle is what is 360 degrees. Don't forget that it's very, very important. So, and if some of the exterior angle of any polygon is 360 degrees, then how can we find each exterior angle of that of uh, of the polygon? Is by dividing the number, the sum of the the sum of the exterior angle, which is 360, by the number of what size as that polygon. So that will give us 360 divided by what our n, which is the number of size the polygon has. So this is the uh, the formula for finding the sum of the exterior angle of the polygon. It is important you understand this uh, that sum of the exterior angle of the polygon is 360 degrees. 
and to find each exterior angle is 36 divided by n and also that uh, the sum of interior angle of a regular polygon is 2m minus 4 multiplied by 90 then that to find each interior angle of a regular polygon you divide this one by number of what uh size other polygon so it is a uh, very very important you will understand what you are uh this this uh four formulas for that we have on in the for the we have in the uh, for the theorems in the polygons it's important we understand that we memorize it so that we can use it at any point in time so in the next video we're we'll talking about we'll be talking about how we can use those formulas those theorems to solve problems and uh, if you have not subscribed to our uh, youtube channel please do that please uh, like the video comment on it share the videos with your colleagues and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you to welcome you to today teaching and in a couple of videos we had in the past we talked about polygon what polygon is the different properties of polygons the angles that we can see in polygon such as interior angles exterior angles how we can identify them how we can sum the interior angles of any polygons together and how we can sum the exterior angle of any polygons together <coughs> different types of polygon that we have all these we are explained in the previous video <coughs> on polygon excuse me so if you have not watched that video please quickly go back to those videos and watch them so that you can understand the, what we'll be doing in this uh, video in this video we are going with using what you have learned so far to solve problems on polygon and the first question we are going to be solving is the one you're having on the screen right now the question says that the interior angles of a pentagons uh, this angle x minus 15 degrees s minus 5 degrees s degrees s plus 5 degrees and s plus 15 degrees we are to find the value of x we are to find the value of x you should know what a pentagon is and uh, you should know how many sides has a pentagon a pentagon has is a polygon with five sides and uh, if all these angles are interior angle because we are told that they are interior angles so if you had all these angles together these five angles together that means we are talking about sum of interior angles of that polygon. We are summing all the angles together, and then that should be equal should be equal to the so formula of finding sum of uh, sum of interior angles of a regular polygon, which is two n minus four multiplied by nine, 90. So that means if you sum all these angles together, that means should be equal to two n equals minus four times ninety, and that's what you have done here. You have summed all the angles you are giving here together s plus 15 plus s minus 5 plus s plus x plus 5 plus s plus 15 equals to formula of finding sum of interior angles of a regular polygon and we know that pentagon has how many sides five where our hand is what is five so if you sum all this together our heads together we call it like times you have five first then minus 15 minus 5 we give us minus 20 5 plus 15 we give us plus 20 and that should give us zero so we are left with five pairs at the left hand side if you simplify the right hand side you have two times five minus four times 90 and that should give you 540. that means the sum of interior angle of a pentagon is 540. then the question says you find our heads you can divide both sides by five that means your head is going to be 108 degrees so in the value of our x here uh is 108 degrees and there's that solution to that question <coughs> let's see another question in this video polygon we are giving the diagram which is a polygon as well and they can see that it has angles and the angles is that we have here is the interior angle or exterior angles these are exterior angles because the angles are outside the polygon so the question says we should find the value of x so in the in the video, the video we had in the back we said that the sum of exterior angle of any polygon is what is 360 degrees sum of exterior angle angles outside the polygon is what is 360 degrees and that's why you are having that uh, sum of a serial angle of a, of a uh, exterior angle of a polygon is equal to 360 degrees then if you sum all these angles together you have s plus 2s plus 3s plus 5s plus s equal to 360 degrees sum color light times here yeah, sum all these together we give you 12x equal to 360 degrees then divide both side by 12 to give us x that means our s is 30 degrees as well then also if you look at this polygon you're having right now we are having this polygon you should be able to tell us the name of this polygon what's the name of the polygon polygon is a pentagon because it has how many sides uh five sides 
and you are giving all this angle inside the polygon and what is the what are the what's the name of this angle they are interior angle because they are inside the polygon so if you sum all these angles together these five angles together then it should be equal to what the formula for finding sum of interior angle of a polygon which is 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90 then if you add all these angles together like this you're having on the screen right now then we know our hand is what is five because pentagon has how many sides five sides so that means you are if you collect light time you have 5x plus 50 where we are having 30 plus 20 you give us 50 then all these x together add it together you have 5x then simplify the right hand side you have 54 sorry 540 as the sum of interior angle of a pentagon then take 50 to the other side you have 150 540 minus 50 then that will give us 490 then divide both side by 5 and that will give us 98 as the as the value of our x in degrees so this is uh, some of the questions you can uh, come across on that polygon we see have more questions coming our ways in the next video hello viewers welcome to this uh, video in our last uh, video we try to solve some questions on the polygon and uh, in this video also we are going to continue solving questions on polygon and the first question we are going to solve is one you are having on the screen right now that says how many sides has a regular polygon whose interior angle whose interior angles are 108 degrees each that's where the question uh, the emphasis is on each how many sides has a regular polygon whose interior angles are 108 degree each if you look at the video we talked about a couple of weeks ago on a polygon we said that the sum of interior angle of a polygon is 2 hem minus 4 multiplied by 90 then to get each interior angle of that polygon we divide that formula by hen so this formula is the formula of finding each interior angle of a regular polygon 2 hem minus 4 multiplied by 890 divided by hen but we have been given the values of each interior angle of that polygon as 108 degrees so what do you do you create this formula to that value given to you and that's what you're having here that 108 degrees is equal to 2m minus 4 multiplied by 90 over n because we have to find the how many sides has that polygon which is our n n is talking about the number of sides as that polygon so from there you can cross multiply when you cross multiply you have 108 multiplied by n and uh, equals to 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90 you can open this bracket by multiplying the bracket by 90 and you have 180 and minus 360 degrees then collect light time take this 180 hand to the other side you have 108 and minus 180 and equals to minus 360 degrees then 108 minus 180 you give up minus 72 n equals to minus 360 if you divide both side by minus 72 that will give us our hand as 5 that means the polygon has five sides and if they ask you what's the name of that polygon you should be able to tell us that's a pentagon because pentagon has five sides another question is that uh, you are giving this diagram and you have to find the value of x from the diagram of course the diagram is a polygon and you can see that you are giving interior angles this angle here is a uh, you should is able to tell us the name of the value of this angle because it's a right angle this is also a right angle that's why you are not they didn't put the values there you should know that this is a 90 degree this is also 90 degree because they are right angles and you have given the value of the many ang three angles so if you had all these angles together that should be equal to the sum of the formula of finding sum of the interior angle of a polygon and that's what we're having here that s plus s plus 90 plus 80 plus 90 which are the addition of all these angles equals to the formula of finding sum of interior angle of a polygon then how many sides are this polygon it has five sides and that means our hand is five and if you simplify that for that, you have s plus x, which is called 2x. Then 90 plus 80 plus 90, you give us 260. Simplify the right hand side, you have 540. Then collect light time, you have 2x plus 260, equals to 540. Then 2x equals to 540 minus 260, that gives us 280. Then s will be equal to 140 if you divide both sides by 2. And also, the last question for today in a regular polygon, the ratio of the exterior angle to the interior angle is 1 to 3. How many sides has that polygon? the ratio of interior angle so the ratio of exterior angle which is 360 degrees from of finding uh, some of exterior angle of the polygon is 360 degrees to the uh, interior angle which is 2 hand minus 40 multiplied by 90 the ratio of this to this is equals to 1 to 3 and that's what we're having here that 360 to 2 hand minus 40 multiplied by 90 equals to 1 to 3 and we know that this means this divided by this 
in our idea of ra uh, ratio and this means one to three means one over three as well then from there you can cross multiply then that will give us uh, this multiply by one then three multiply by what 360 then open the bracket you have 180 minus n equals to three minus 360 equals to 1080 then collect light time from there one one thousand eighty plus three sixty and that'll give us one thousand four forty divide both side by hand that'll give us n eight as the number of sides has that polygon and that polygon is an octagon then if you understand what you have done so far uh in the two two videos you have made so far on a solution on question of, on polygon try to solve those three these three questions yourself and uh, drop the answers in a comment section and i will attend to them if you like the video please subscribe to our youtube channels comment on the videos like it and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you for hello viewers my name is mr debanjo and in today's uh, video we are going to be solving the three questions i gave to students under plane geometry to to solve and uh, this as a result of students that want to really know the solution to the que three questions just to check whether they got it right or wrong the first one says that the, the interior angles of a, of a hexagon are 120 degrees, 2s degrees, s plus 30 degrees, 140 degrees, 150 minus s degrees, and 1c degree. Calculate the value of x. We know that uh, we talk about the sum of interior angles of polygon, which is equal to this formula we have in this, uh, uh, our right hand side, 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90. So when you are summing all the interior angles of any particular poly polygon together, that you are adding those angles, angle inside polygons together, that should be equal to the formula of finding the sum of interior angle of a polygon, of that polygon, which is 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90. Then if you sum all these angles together, that is you are adding all the interior angles together, then it should be equal to this, uh, this, uh, this right hand side, 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90. Then when you collect light times here, 120 plus 30 plus 140 plus 150 plus 160, and that should give us 600. 2s plus s give us 3x minus s, that gives us 2x. That means you have 2s plus 600 equals to, you are having a hexagon, that means it has how many size? Six size. So that means we have our n here is the number of size that polygon has. So that means we have 2 times 6 multiplied by 4, or well, sorry, minus 4 multiplied by 90. If you simplify that, that means you have 2 times 6 is eight, uh, 12 minus 4, that gives us 8 times 90, that gives us 720. Then collect light times from here, you have 2a equal to 720 minus 600. Then 2a equal to 120. S is going to be 60 degrees. That's the first question. Second question says that is three angles of a non agon are, equals, are equal, and the sum of the other angles is 1,110 1, degrees. Calculate the size of one of the equal angles. So three angles are equal in a in a non agon. Non agon has how many angles? Nine angles. So three of the angles are equal. So let each each of these those angles that are equal be x. So that means the three angles that are equal are s x x. So if you sum all those angles together with the sum of the other angles to be one thousand one hundred nine ten degrees, then we have s plus s plus one hundred ten degrees equals to some formula of finding the sum of interior angle of a polygon. Now I'm going to ask nine sides and put your N nine years, simplify this as well. Then collect light times, you have your head to be 50 degrees as well. Then the last one, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon of N size is 900 degrees. Find the value of N. Then it's, what the formula of finding sum of an interior angle of a polygon is this form the 2N minus 4 over 90. Then you have given that the value of the interior, sum of the interior angles of that polygon is 900. I've been given the value of sum of the interior angles is 900. Then equate it to that formula of finding sum of interior angle with polygon. Then divide both side by 90 to remove this 90 here. Then, then you have 10 equals to 2n minus 4. Then collect light times. You have 2n take minus 4 to the other side. You have 2n equals to 10 plus 4 equals to uh, 14. Then 2n equals to 14. Then n equals to be 7 degrees. 7 which is heptagon as a polygon. Some of the, most of the questions, student got the answer correctly. And if you did not get it correctly, please try to do the correction. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels for more videos and for more teachings. And I hope you understand what you have done. If you did not understand, please try to go through the steps again and you are going to understand this. And if you have done it and you got it right, I want to say kudos to you and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and God bless you.